Hi guys, welcome back to another Hugh Jeffries video, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at this iPhone 5S 16GB on iOS 7.0.6. I picked this up off of eBay for a total of $120. Now this was my best offer as the device was actually starting at a bid, but I sent them an offer of $110 plus $10 shipping and managed to get this iPhone 5S. Now, I've been looking for an iPhone 5S on iOS 7 boxed for a very long time. I actually won an auction on eBay uh, of a 64 gigabyte boxed in mint condition on iOS 7.1.1, but just before I paid, I wanted to make sure that they didn't update the device, and after sending them a message, they sent me a picture of the hello screen, but it said press home to set up, and it was the iOS 11 um, press home to set up. So sadly, they had updated that, so I never actually paid for it and managed for them to cancel the order. Um, I also missed out on a few other ones um, just by losing the bid, but you can see here, this one here is completely boxed silver on iOS 7.0.6. Now, upon purchasing this off the seller on eBay, I sent him a message just to make sure that he wasn't going to be updating the device from iOS 7, and he replied back saying that it was updating and that he was not home. So he managed to make it home in time and cancel the update, so it never updated to iOS 10.3.3 via the OTA update. And with that, I go ahead and reset uh, the iPhone to factory settings through settings, which means I'm not going to be updating the device and I'm going to be keeping iOS 7.0.6. Then I can sign in with my own Apple ID and get started with the iPhone. You can see here, setting it up, it is now in a clean install of iOS 7.0.6. Go ahead and go into general and about. You can see that it's a 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S. Now, the iPhone 5S was released in 2013 in 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes of storage. It has an Apple A7 processor running at 1.3 gigahertz, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and came with iOS 7. The iPhone 5S was available in three colors, which were silver, gold, and space gray. The iPhone 5S was the first ever iPhone to receive the new design which shipped with iOS 7. It had been completely rebuilt from the ground up, um, and design-wise it looks completely different than iOS 6. iOS 7 introduced a heap of new features that we now take for granted. iOS 7 was also the first major redesign of iOS since its initial release back in 2007. You can see here I have an iPhone 5 on iOS 6 and an iPhone 5S on iOS 7. You can just see how different the interfaces look. From the app icons to the app switcher, it all looks completely different. iOS 7 introduced the control center, which allows you basically to easily change the brightness and volume of music, as well as introducing new features such as AirDrop, which we now take for granted being able to transfer files between iPhones, iPads, and Macs. One of my favorite things about pre-iOS 7.1 is the old slide to shut down. I'm not quite sure why Apple replaced this with the current one that we see today, but I do much prefer the older animation when you slide to power off. The iPhone 5S was the first iPhone to feature the Touch ID fingerprint reader in the home button. And just like the iPhone 4 and 4S, the iPhone 5 and 5S share the same design in the S model. And in almost five years, Apple is still using this same design on the iPhone SE. Now, taking a look closer at this iPhone 5S that I've purchased off of eBay, taking it out of the box and taking a closer look at it, you can see just how mint this iPhone 5S is. I'm led to believe that this iPhone was never used or only used for a very short period of time. There's absolutely no scratches, no marks, or no dust in any of the ports or the buttons on the side. The LCD does have a small mark in the display uh, through the backlight. I'm not quite sure what's caused that, but either way, other than that mark, this is 100% mint condition. Taking a look at all of my iPhones on their original firmwares, we've got an iPhone 3G 8GB on iOS 2.0, an iPhone 3GS 16GB on iOS 3.1.2, an iPhone 4 on iOS 4.2.1, 32GB, an iPhone 4S 16GB on iOS 5.1.1, an iPhone 5 32GB on iOS 6.1.4, an iPhone 5S 16GB on iOS 7.0.6, and an iPhone 6 Plus 128 gigabyte on iOS 8.4.1. And I'm filming this on my iPhone 7 256 gigabyte special edition product red on iOS 10.3.3. 
So out of all that, I need to go ahead and downgrade my iPhone first gen to iOS 1. I need to purchase an iPhone 5C on iOS 7 and a 6S on iOS 9, and I will have a complete collection from first gen to iPhone 7 on their original firmwares. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Consider checking out the iPhone playlist for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you're following my social media. Link will be in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.